guys so this is another tutorial um, as you can see I had a couple of thumbnails I also want to tell you that everything uh, is available on this uh, Google Drive link I've posted right there so some people asked him wh where the assets are so sound is currently empty it's hopefully going to be filled later now on message under crates uh, this is the drops and these are the crates so yeah they're camped in uh, a RAR file I may upload everything in a raw form as soon as the series is finished and on animations this is the double jump glide so today we're going to do some animations oh and these are included in that part these animations so let's check it out um, pretty much progress as you can see I added a double jump I also added a glide as you can see you know like they're normal arches and clank I've not done clank yet because I'll show you how to stack them up one on top of the other later and yeah as you can see it like works with gliding so if I jump once then I can release it and hit the double jump and it works again so yeah seamlessly as you can see so we're going to do clank later now you got a couple of animations these ones all these four which I give to you as a gift they're not kind of perfect but you can see to it it works and if I do this no it's like the jump uh, uh, cycle so yeah also on this one about right there I've had the notify it's the only one we're going to use in this video so you should remember it easily now if we go into the graph stuff gets pretty chaotic so yeah well, let me talk to you about the notify first so on the notify I just call the relative event on the player blueprint so it's like a bridge they got the same name so you can like remember it easily now <sighs> on the blueprint event update animation I've got a crap ton of variable as I said as you can see this includes if the player is double jumping uh, this notify blueprint earlier uh, the grappling uh, the animation type which would be the weapon type held if we can do a jump attack if we should recall if we should play throw motion like on the glove when you throw a grenade if the player is gliding the first second third swing combo when doing the axe thingy you know swinging around and yeah these are all of them we're not going to use all of them in uh, this tutorial we're go just going to use a part of them because I'll just uh, this already kind of complete but not yet finalized in order for me to present it to you so yeah just ignore everything you don't see me explaining so if we go over onto animation graph we've got this run jump state machine which we cache and then just use the cast pose so this will be our tutorials now this run jump pose kind of complex but it's easy let me explain it to you so we've got our basic idle run jump start jump loop and jump end now I added this double jump flip animation and I also added the gliding start loop and end like the jump start loop and end now all these uh, have transition rules so let me just walk you through so I will we'll start from the double jump now if we uh, jumped and then we just want to ju double jump we'll just go ahead and transition to double jump if this is about to end we're just going to go down to the jump loop now we may jump once and start falling but if we press double jump again we want to double jump so yeah I'll back out a bit but there's a catch in order uh, for us to prevent the infinite double jumping and replaying of animation I use this variable called do not re replay do not replay double jump uh, 
animation notify which is what we said on our double uh, jump animation clip so this can only play once before the player touches the ground and jumps again now just because I've got uh, our animations uh, stacked up in layers as you can see right there so this is the second layer this part here handles the actual grappling as you can see up here but just ignore this the whole thing it also handles grappling so just because uh, grappling is not affected on a run jump because the uh, strings are just like a gun we want to just zero out essentially this animation uh, blend space the, this state machine actually if we glide so if we glide and we're in the air as you can see so if it's not in the air we're going to call jumping but if we glide if we grapple excuse me we're going to go back to idle run and this is the same thing for our jump loop so all of them ha have got this transition even the jump start adds an extra rule even the glide start and and loop so if we're grappling we're going to go straight back there now if we're on the jump loop so we've uh, jumped we can double jump again this optional and then we're on the jump loop if we haven't uh, touched the ground yet and we hold down space we update a variable called is gliding and this is going to start this chain of events so first going to play gliding start that uh, is this animation right there so from the double jump uh, from the jump loop it's going to transition with open hands and then we're going to play the gliding loop which is this funny part right there so yeah and then we're going to play the loop if we touch the ground we're going to play the gliding end which is essentially like a transition to the idle run state and we're going to cancel that if we're grappling so as you can see it works pretty well now I'll take you back to our character blueprint to the actual implementation of stuff so I've added a couple of stuff first things first I've added this uh, input action jump it does a couple of stuff oh by the way this is our custom uh, replay notify event also I added shit on variables in our character these uh some of them are used in animation but the ones that are prefixed anim are only explicitly used in animation so they're not using any mechanics here they're just we just set them and unset them we don't do checks based on them i also added a couple of stuff on dig this uh is grappling so if it's uh the gravel state is not uh no gravel then the yeah this should be actually not so if we are not not grappling we're grappling so you know if that makes sense and then this jump glide tick which is kind of big so let's get into the jump first we do this uh, standard held and not held thing so if the player is in ground we just launch the character and this is uh with the geo 500 now if the player is not in ground and he's not grappling and he can double jump well we said he can't double the can double jump to false we'll launch the character and we said the anim wants to double jump so you know he wants to play the double jump animation but even if this is true if the do not replay and jump notify is true as well it will not going to happen anytime soon just because we cancel that on the notify now back on the tick we go right there we do our updating so the f uh, second part is the gliding as you can see right there we said it is gliding and the first part is the actual double jump so if the player is down the ground we can double jump again we just release a lo lock for the animation replay 
and then we set the animation we want to double jump to false as well so it's just resetting variables by the way this uh, can double jump get set to true as a default value so we can like double jump from the start of the game now second part of the sequence we've got a massive end boolean here so if the player holds jump he's not on ground he's not grappling because we can't glide if we're grappling and the double jump animation has already played because we don't want to start gliding before our actual gra uh, double jump because that's the way it happens in the actual game so if all these uh, happen we just glide set this gliding and set the gravity scale to 3 so to 3 to 0.3 actually so we like descend in a slower pace but if not we set these gliding to false and then we set the gravity scale back to 1 which is the default so this tutorial thanks for watching grab the animations also it was a pain in the ass to do these animations because i didn't have a clue on how to use maya for example thanks for watching see you next time